Hello and uh, welcome to your How To Get It video guide. Um, today the how to question comes from Get It member Paul Webb and he asked how to change colours, fonts, images and text. So today I'm going to walk you step by step through the basics and create live a simple web banner for Paul using the main benefit web banner that you'll find in the members area. So first up we're going to want to change that image. To do that you're going to want to move this colour box out of the way so that you can get to the image behind and then just simply using the backspace key or your delete key on your computer just delete the images that are there at the moment you can see I made up a, long, a longer version of an image from me by duplicating and pasting the image on top of each other and that's just kind of a quick cheats way to elongate an image if you don't have the right size image but anyway what I'm going to do is delete that last one there and pull up for you the image that I've got of Paul. So you can see I'm just going to go and grab the image from the folder that's on your website and just simply drag and drop it onto the website banner. When this comes in it's not quite the right size so you're just going to need to drag it into place and then holding down the shift key on, the key on your keyboard click on the corner and drag the image. Drag it out to the size that you want to fit and then holding down control click and you'll get this menu come up and you can go arrange centre back and we want it to send that image right to the back so that the layer of the uh, image box sits, the colour box sits on top sorry. Now you can see here that the text that we're going to have is going to run over Paul's face so that's not what we want from an aesthetic um, layout point of view so I'm going to increase the size of the image again and cut off some of Paul's head <laughs> and then just move it over to the right so that it fills that space and we use more of the image that we've got over to the left. Now a quick little cheats way to, to look at how this is working for you. If you go up into this corner here you can obviously you can see a preview of what the banner is going to look like um, and I'm quite happy for now with the, with the layout of where we've got Paul's head there so I'm going to leave that and move on to the colour box. Now obviously I moved that out of the way just so that we could get to the back but what you want to do is drag that and put it back up in place and you can resize the box just by grabbing any of the corners and just pulling them to make them as big as you need and, but this is the template colour that I've used, the lime green, which isn't one of Paul's brand colours so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to double click on the colour block and it's going to bring up this uh, formatting palette and you can see you've got the colour here so just click on the colour and go and choose the colour that you need. Now if you've, if you've already been using this in PowerPoint you'll have your recent colours set up. If you haven't, go into more colours and you can use the sliders here to get the colour slide that you want or if you know the CMYK values then you can put those in here. So I know for Paul his CMYK values are three, uh, 100, 37, 42 and 19. So I can just type those in and you can see that his, his brand colour appears. So if you click OK and then OK again the colour box will have changed. OK so we've changed the colour so now we're going to need to change the font and if you can see on the formatting palette that it's Brie Serif. Now that's not Paul's brand font so I'm going to want to change that and we're going to change it to Helvetica, Helvetica New and the name that we want to put up there is Paul Web Fitness. So just simply highlight, and as you would in any word editor, just type the text that you want over the top there. And then moving down to the subheading, we're going to highlight that again, and we need to change the font here to his uh, hand note font, which is Hand of Sean. and then change that to the subheader that we want to use. Okay. Now, if you don't want this section 
then that's simple. All you need to do is just delete the text and delete the, the handwriting bit. And you can also remove this white banner um, if you want to have the full width of a banner rather than having the sign up as an opt-in. You can just do that and simply drag and drop and increase the size of the coloured box and then we can play around with the positioning so just drag the image into view and of course now we've moved the removed the white box we've got the more space down here so if you want to you can select by holding down shift and select both text boxes and just I you tend to use the arrow keys because it's easier than it's more precise than using the mouse um, you can just bring it and move it and position it into the centre a little bit more tweaking so that we can see Paul's eyes in the background and there you have it you've just created your first website banner all you need to do now is head on out to file and save as pictures and then choose where you want to save it in your folders um, rename it and save as JPEG. And there you have it. That's your website header, all edited and changed and saved as a JPEG, ready for you to put onto your website.